So starting on the peg box, um, as planned, I scanned the uh, drawing of the uh, peg box side uh, in the old computer, resized it to be dimensionally correct, um, and then saved it as a bitmap file. Um, it's a JPEG. Then with the uh, VCarp software, I imported it, converted it to vector and set up a toolpath and so it looks like we're good to go I have a g-code g -code file ready to go and of course right at the last minute I thought I don't have any suitable hardwood <laughs> to cut this out of um, all I had is these uh, maple uh, guitar neck blanks and so I had to cut and rip one of those so that I get two pieces around the seven mil um, uh, and I had to do that with the uh, with my crappy old table saw because I don't have a because um, I don't have a band saw. And uh, I really don't like uh, ripping wood like this where the blade has to come all the way up to nearly halfway along, so you can rip half and then flip it over. However, we got there. It's not it's not you know beautiful, but it's functional. <laughs> And we'll do more tidying up once we have it, uh, once we have them cut out and shaped. So far, so good. I think these will do. So I think that plan worked out okay. Um, I drill. I only did one tool path, and so once I'd cut the first one, I just flipped the blank over and then cut the other one. So they're both as near identical as we can make them um, and I'm particularly pleased that the scaling uh, wasn't impacted and it's exactly full size as per the drawings so next I then have to figure out how to make the end block for here and the front block for here and that's a little bit of a I don't the drawing isn't particularly helpful here <laughs> so I'm gonna to have to go away and figure out what's a What's a good way to go about doing this? Another little conundrum is drilling the holes. Uh, pretty much all the uh, construction videos that I've seen online and, and doing this is what they do is they clamp both sides together and then they just drill straight through on the drill press. Now obviously that means when you when you make the peg box and the two sides are no longer parallel and then the axes of the of the holes on each side are not in line and I'm just assuming that the reamer the the out of alignment is so small that when you put the reamer across uh, it, it it takes care of it um, however that's not the way this book says to do it the way the book says to do it is mark out the place for the holes but don't drill them Make the peg box when it's all finished. Uh, make up a little jig so that the center line of the peg box is horizontal, and then drill each hole from the outside in um, so that uh, you have no breakout. And so the the axis of the holes is exactly uh, at right angles to the center line of the peg box. So I have a feeling it's probably just when I'm going to do it, even though it's a lot more work. Well, on ye old uh, peg box, uh, I started on this this morning about 10.30 and it's now coming up on 9 p.m. So technically it's taken me the entire day to figure out how to cut this block here and the little block at the other end. Um, and then to figure out how might I hold it together so I could glue it. Um, and so there was various failures and throw away and start again. <laughs> Especially with this guy right here because he's 27 mil on the bottom 26 mil on the top so very slight uh, taper Then there's a taper on the back of this going across um, And then because the sides are uh, converging inwards uh, Each each vertical side here has like about a, a one and a half or two degree uh, taper on it. So yeah nightmare to uh, to do this 
and it was occurring to me that uh, this is probably why crafts like this have an apprenticeship because there's probably a dead easy way of doing this I just have no idea what it is anyway so what I did I took the actual dimensions out of the out of the book I drew them out in real you know in actual size on a piece of paper um, and I used that to derive all these dimensions uh, and then to glue the thing up I basically just rigged up some uh, pieces of uh, some pieces of plywood to hold it either side and uh, I'm hoping I haven't done it yet but I'm hoping that'll be okay for uh, for a glue up um, but before I do that I have to uh, chamfer the inner surfaces here and at least mark out where the holes go for the tuning pegs so um, yeah not a lot to show for a whole day's effort but uh, learning a lot as, as we go <laughs> There has to be an easier way to do this. Has to be. Oh, and the other thing I did was I thinned out these two side pieces. They were like just seven mil or a little bit over. But when I laid it out like this, the space up here at the end seemed really restrictive for tuning pegs. So uh, I took them down to six mil each. And some more screw-ups here. Um, little discrepancies with the actual drawing. So this guy here says drill five mil holes um, on 17 mil spacings all the way along here. So I marked that out and all looked well. I even punched the holes or punched the marks where the holes would go. But then when I put it into my little jig here before glue up and I put the end cap down at the end here. Let me see if I can get out of my own light. I thought, okay, this this hole, which is the original place where the hole was, is r too close here. By the time you drill a hole big enough for the peg, there ain't going to be enough room for the uh, string to go around it without binding up on this end post here. Uh, then I thought five mil hole is tiny, and uh, sure enough, even the uh, original here. I thought these ain't five mil holes. Sure enough, everything is seven. So I have to move these holes away from the end block here, and then just shift everything down. <laughs> so there will unfortunately be these little marks left where I punched the original holes, which are incorrect. Oh hum, better find it now than after I had the whole thing glued up and drilled. And just to check for sure, I just got a scrap piece of wood and drilled a 7 mil hole. And sure enough, once you stick the reamer through, uh, yeah, that's, that's the hole you need, 7, not 5. Oh well, um, that's just one of a whole bunch of dimensional challenges I found with this particular book um, which I will maybe note at some point later on well boys and girls there goes probably the most stressful glue up job and the most complex piece of woodworking I've ever done um, it's not perfect but it's close <laughs> and so we will carry on uh, the next bit is to glue veneer along the back surface and I found some nice pieces of zebra wood veneer that should do the trick it's uh, especially once it's got some finish on it it'll look nice um, I don't think it's thick enough though so I may have to do a second layer on top of the first one but we'll check that out uh, once we've um, once we've had the first layer stuck on and I got to figure out how to glue that up I couldn't figure out a way of clamping the veneer onto the back of the uh, peg box so hopefully there's enough tape on here to hold it we will see shortly right I think we'll call it a day it's getting late so there we go uh, uh, I really like this veneer that sort of uh, tiger stripe going down the center 
and lots of color variation. I should have put this bit on first because it's it's more just uniform stripes. Um, so I might just leave it and go with the single because I really like I really like the way this looks. So there we go. 24 hours later, peg box pretty much done. Um, I used the old uh, dowel and hot glue trick for setting up the angle for drilling the holes through. So since I showed that before, I didn't show it again. Um, to my surprise, I couldn't find. I didn't have a seven mil uh, Fossner bit, so I ran around the hardware store this morning, and. Uh, didn't seem like there is any such thing. <laughs> At least they didn't have any. It seemed like they uh, they go uh, five, six, eight, um, and even had sets of drills, which with the seven missing. So maybe the seven isn't part of a, the normal routine. Anyway, what I did find uh, was this six mil, um, which is like a Brad point thing, um, and so that. Just let me drill all the way through from one side, uh, which made life a little easier. It's not perfect, but I think it's certainly good enough for a first attempt. So next up we'll be, I guess, starting to put things together. So fit the neck to the bowl, fit this peg box to the neck, and then finally put the top on the bowl. Oh, I gotta do the bridge as well, and so that's uh, probably the next thing I need to do. Anyway, that's it for this particular chapter. More to come soon.